Hello everyone and welcome back. So what I want to talk to you about today is my navel piercing and how it was getting it done and how it has been the first week of having it. So I've had my navel piercing for a little over a week now and I got it done as, at a professional piercer's place with a good reputation. I had to book my piercer session beforehand. I came to the place I had to fill out a folder with what piercings I want to get done, my name, my address, if I had any kind of sicknesses, if I was taking any kind of med medication, all the things that they kind of need to know to make the piercing in a safe way for me. And then I picked out the jewelry I wanted to have in my piercing. And then I waited and then I got in and then he rubbed the area off so he disinfected the area and then he kind of dotted i think i don't know if it's with a pen or what it was but he dotted the area where he wanted to make the piercing on the outside of my belly button and on the inside and then he asked me if the placement was all right and i've got to say i had to stand up how i would regularly stand up when he did this so he knew that the placement was how it was supposed to be when I was standing up. And then he took the jewelry and I went out over to the mirror. He showed me how it would look. I said that was all right. Then he had me lay down and then he had me put my arm like this so he could get to the area. Then he asked if I was ready and then, oh, I forgot to say when I was lying down like this, he of course had taken the camp and clamped my belly button together so you could easily get the needle through and he asked if I was ready I said yes I was ready then he went ahead with making the piercing hole in my navel and I would say one thing pain was really not that bad for me I think it was like like two out of ten but what I felt with this area is that it's definitely thicker skin and you could feel that compared to other areas the piercing took a little longer to go through uh, with the needle than it would have in another area and then he put the jewelry through and one thing i want to say is that it's always a little worse when the jewelry goes through the needle is not that bad but the jewelry is always like a little worse than the needle going through that's what i think and that's also what the piercer said that a lot of people think it was worse when jewelry goes through because it feels different and uncomfortable, but really it was not that bad. But I could feel right after I had it done that I was really, really sore. Like, really sore. Not just like thinking of the clothing being there, but I really could feel my clothing being there because I just had a belly button piercing done and that was even though I had a loose blouse over it. And I think like the first three to five days or something I was really really sore and when you've gotten a belly button piercing done I was also told that you need to sit upright you cannot slouch down you cannot sit in a way where you get belly folds because that's not good for the piercing so you have to sit upright in the period until it's healed so that's also something you have to get used to but for the first like couple of days you will want to sit upright because if you do not you will like get really sore so i'm interested to see how it goes with my belly button piercing healing because i know it's a piercing that takes a little longer to heal and right now it's looking well it's just a little red at the top with the first hole and has gotten a little scab but I, that's just normal for piercings to get especially while they're healing so nothing like no irritation bumps or anything like that. And one thing that's also really important to remember when, when you get piercings like septum piercings and nail bar piercing, where there's a little ball that you can screw on to get it loose, it's really important that you two times every week check that the screw has, or the ball has not gotten loose, so you need to screw it tighter if it has gotten loose. And then you need to remember. I don't know if it's this way in your country, this is the way it is in Denmark. For Danish piercing jewelry is that you have to screw 
the same way as the clock if you want to get it tighter and if you want to get it looser you have to screw the opposite side of the clock so this way if you want it tighter this way if you want it looser i do not know if it's the same way in your country but it probably is but just do some research on that and remember to check that the balls and the piercings are not getting loose i should probably shortly show you my navel piercing so i'll just do that now So yeah guys, this was the video for now. I again really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, remember to comment, like, subscribe. And remember, I appreciate every one of you and really appreciate everyone being a part of my community here on YouTube. Anyways guys, I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye!